Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our April Rising Star Student of the Month recognition celebration. We are so excited to be here this morning to celebrate all of our amazing students. So our Rising Star Student of the Month celebration, we have a mission for this program. And the mission is to bring the community together to honor our local high school seniors for demonstrating character, integrity, love of learning, involvement in school and community activities or the ability to overcome challenging life circumstances without compromising their education. The core of the Rising Star Student of the Month is a student who makes a difference in their home, school and community with sincerity and passion. Okay, next up, we are going to hear from Tri City Christian School. Mr. Baldwin, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity again each month. It's a little bittersweet for us. Uh, we as a smaller school only come in every other month. This is our last one. Uh, and we love uh, nominating the kids, but this is so close to the end. Uh, it, it's bittersweet. We uh, uh, met with our teachers and, and staff and, and asked for names and and uh, one student's name just came up over and over again. It was unanimous. Uh, I love it when that happens. Uh, and so I'm just proud to introduce to you Ruben Avila. Uh, he came to our campus uh, uh, in the beginning of his high school year. Uh, a quiet, his wonderful smile brightened the room, but, but very quiet. Uh, and uh, just continue to let his light shine. Uh, uh, learning the language uh, while he's here and just becoming a part of our student body. Uh, reaching out last year, I personally watched him reach out to a new student that we had as well, helping him get incorporated into our school. Uh, just been a bright light on our campus. So without further ado, I'll introduce to you our rising star, Ruben Avila. Hello, my name is Ruben Avila and I go here to Tri-City Christian High School. I've been coming here for four years. This is my senior year. Also here with me in other classroom is Ms. Borders, my civics and economics teacher and also one of my favorite teachers. Um, my host mom is here, Janet Sullivan. And I would like to, first of all, I would like to thank God for this opportunity that he's given me for everything that he's done in my life and to get me where I am today. I would also like to thank the Vista City Council teachers, friends, and family who have helped me to get here where I am today. A life lesson that I would like to take with me to college would be that I believe that if we put our faith and trust in God, we will be able to accomplish what we want. Hard work and dedication combined with our trust and faith in God will get the results that we want and need. I came to the United States halfway through my freshman year. Uh, it was a difficult <laughs> process learning English, but it is one of my greatest accomplishments. I came from Tijuana, Mexico, and I was going to all Spanish speaking schools uh, most of my life. The switch from all Spanish to all English was difficult and I could barely understand the information given to me in my classes. I'm doing well now and improving day by day. Friends, family, and teachers have been most helpful on my journey to learn English. My plans for the future are to attend Maricosta College and, during, and major in criminology. I am, during this process, I will be applying for citizenship here in the United States. And after college, I would like to apply to the San Diego County Sheriff's Department located in Vista, eventually becoming a California Highway Patrol officer and hopefully becoming an investigator. Thank you all for your time. Awesome, thanks very much, Ruben. Great that you're coming back and bringing it back to this too, that's awesome. Um, up uh, next is his teacher, uh, Mrs. Borders. Hello, everyone. Um, excuse me, I'm pregnant and very hormonal. I'm like crying right now. Um, I am so <laughs> beyond proud of Ruben. And I'm even though I'm the one that got to be here today, Mr. Palmer, Miss Patty, Miss Powell, all of the teachers here at Tri City were jockeying to be the teacher that got to talk about you. But I'm the lucky one who was chosen today. 
Um, so Ruben is just such a standard of excellence here on our campus. Um, if you're walking through the halls, unlike most teenagers, he will always say hello to you, always, even though he has his mask on, you can tell he's smiling. Um, if you ever need help with anything, he's offered to carry my boxes for me, push the Chromebook cart. Um, he's always the first person to volunteer to help. Um, and the light of Jesus always is just shining out of him whenever you're talking to him. Um, he works two times harder than any other student in my class. He is the first student to turn in his assignments. He tries his best to put in all of the effort that he can. And he is doing so well in civics and economics this year, which is very difficult concepts for an English language learner to um, learn and to thrive in. Um, so I am just so proud of Ruben. Um, it's been so fun to discover his career goals with him this year. We did our personal finance unit and he was just so excited to explore what he wants to do and um, create a path for his life. And I just wish him nothing but the best. And it's been an honor to be able to be his teacher this year. Thank you, Allison. Uh, up next is his mom, uh, host mom, Jan Sullivan. Hi, good morning all. Can you hear me? Good. My name is Jan Sullivan and I'm Ruben's guardian here in the United States. Uh, first, I would like to thank God and his amazing grace for allowing me to be part of Ruben's life. No tears, no tears. Um, I'd also like to thank the Vista Chamber of Commerce Rising Star of the Month sponsors and dignitaries, as well as Mr. Baldwin and Mrs. Borders and all the amazing staff at Tri-City Christian School. I met Ruben almost 10 years ago where he lived at an orphanage in Tijuana where his mother worked. Um, to me, the Vista Rising Star of the Month's mission statement is inspirational. Uh, and one part of that mentions overcoming life circumstances without compromising their education. And so Ruben knows this well. Um, on his first day at Tri-City, his literature class was studying the Odyssey. <laughs> and that was challenging as he had not yet started speaking in uh, complex English sentences. So you can only imagine. Uh, every morning, I would drive Ruben seven miles to the bus stop at college in 76. And then from there, he would catch the bus with his bike in tow. Um, and then at Oceanside Boulevard, he would ride his bike up college. And for those of you familiar with the area, you know, that's a steep hill. <laughs> and then at Thunder, he'd turn and head over to Tri-City, rain or shine, hot or cold. Um, and that, that all happened before school even began. So I'll, I'll just wrap this up. Ruben's love of learning and his amazing character uh, and his integrity and endurance inspire me. Sorry. Um, thank you, Coach Goodwin, for believing in him, and thank you all for your time.